Hi, my name is Edward Keyes. I'm here to present an application in the use of Q field, specifically exploration geology. It's our new must have tool, and I'm pretty excited to share some of the, the latest developments and capabilities with you. So spatial data, it's in the field. This is where we gotta go to get it. Sometimes it's out of cell phone range, unfortunately, but we still have to accurately collect, store, and, uh, and use and interpret and uh, manipulate the spatial data in the field uh, um, with aim to keep it well organized and, and presentable for later. So what is QField? Many of you probably already know. It uh, was released in 2019 and has already got uh, over 200,000 uh, downloads here. It's built on the exact same engine as QGIS. So whatever your project looks like in QGIS should uh, look the same in QField, uh, as long as you can make the symbologies all pretty, you know, QField can make a pretty map right back at you. Uh, its functionality is is really, really good for us in the field. It, uh, it lets us digitize, uh, customizable through uh, uh, camera integration, as well as now stylus uh, availability. You can track where you go, it talks to your, uh, your, your GPS and the other sensors in, in your uh, tablet as well. So it's, uh, it's, it's basically a, a spatial data collection super center for us. <clears throat> so why do we use QField? What other options are there? Well, QField's open source. This is a big thing for us, of course. It's a free and open source software. It's, and you know, it's a, a streamlined data collection app uh, with quite efficient and powerful tools to, to use to get your data collection. Uh, there's been rapid advancements in the last year uh, with uh, the upcoming QField Cloud coming, uh, uh, it's it's just going to really allow for spatial data to to come into play, especially when we have increased uh, internet in the next couple of years. Uh, but there's also opportunity for uh, high-level developer support. To, uh, so you know, watch out for drop bears there, but uh, keep keep an eye on uh, on your developers and, and help them out uh, by supporting these projects that you need and you know, share them with the community. That's what uh, free and open source software is all about. So QField and geology, the application, how we get along? Well, we do a lot of field navigating out to in, in my job, we make tracks, we, you know, generally used to use a GPS to do all of this and have to take things in and out of your GPS, but you know, you can do it all on QField in a GIS right in front of you. Um, Obviously, we're, we're out there collecting data, but that's uh, keeping track of drill programs, uh, reporting and registering, rehabilitation, as well as just good old fashioned field mapping, which you can see a photo of myself doing there. Um, but we're taking a lot of photos these days and, and integrating a, a photo in there to allow for uh, database management of these photos is very important as well. So there's me. So where do we work? We work offline, as I say. We're in the remote Tanami, and our uh, our workflow is dependent on that. So we have our, our Perth database office, make our GIS, put it on the desktop, get it on the tablet, use it out in the field, manipulate the data, bring it back into your, your uh, desktop analysis, and boom, in integrate it into your, uh, into your office database. There's a lot of other workflows available, um, but uh, Currently, this is the only one we got. Here's a, a little map of the Telstra 3G coverage in our tenements, and you can see that there's no overlap there. So other possible workflows that you can have, you can use it as an independent device. You can take it in and, and, and uh, manipulate it out and bring it back onto your, uh, your GIS without using a database. There's also uh, availability for online live editing currently, if you're, if, you know, you're in phone range. <clears throat> the best thing that's to come here, and it's it's really on the verge of coming out, uh, is the QField Cloud. Um, I I support you guys supporting them and uh, signing up to to be a part of the initial launch of this. It's uh, it's going to be good. So we used to use GPS, as I say. QField does that now. We're happy with the level of uh, of resolution in our. Uh, and margin of spatial error in our GPS within our tablets. It's good enough for exploration. However, you can hook up a DGPS with uh, external sensors into your Q field. So if you, if you want higher um, accuracy, then go right ahead and put up more sensors. <clears throat> but it's great. I can walk around at outcrop and 
map geology. This is an excellent application for us. Just as you can see, I've already been putting on some um, videos on the side demonstrating the analysis, but uh, this just uh, is a demonstration of how there's a lot of uh, required elements out there. So QField allows you to keep it in red and it'll only go to green if you put some of the required fields in there. And it updates your symbology. So if, you've, if you change the status, it's gonna look different on your map screen. If you want to uh, go in and re-edit something, it's as simple as getting up onto the toolbar there and changing from a planned color to a drill, drilling complete. You know, it, uh, it's pretty user-friendly. It's, it's got the map things, it's got drop-down lists, it's doing data validation on the fly. You don't have the ability to type in incorrect uh, measurements. Uh, because it's talking to your database. It's showing you the des description while recording the values that your database loves. So it's user friendly, it's data validation as you go, and it updates the symbology. It's pretty darn handy. Similar for rehab tracking, it's a, a major part of our job out there. If we're ever making a disturbance, we got to fix it. And all of this is spatial data that we have to maintain a, a close and concentrated ion and you know developing uh, ways in order to uh, see if you've made a mistake so in, in the previous uh, in the video that you're seeing here i'm just uh, changing a rehab status uh, from a symbology that stood out because it did not have one of these two options it, it had the default pink that i put to stand out uh, so we're just going to fix that investigate uh, you know, who's doing the rehab. We've got these Boolean checklists that uh, automatically create a yes or a no in your attribute file. Um, and at the same time, it's taking metadata uh, and storing it, to, uh, you know, who and, and when and, and uh, where this has been taken. <clears throat> as you have uh, seen as well, we can take the photos of that and, and it's spatially documented. <clears throat> What else can we do? Geology measurements. This is what a good geologist should be doing. We don't do enough of it, I guess, uh, but this is a tool that can help us uh, uh, do it much better. So you can have different views on the same uh, Q field workspace, one for the rehab person and one for the geologist who's doing this. So as you can see, we've got sim symbologies that are uh, uh, automatically changing their dip angles to reflect the strike and dip. That, uh, that you're taking out in the field. So the symbology uh, support is excellent, uh, assuming that you've uh, set it up that way. But uh, as you can see, there, there can be restraints on the dip. It can't be over 90 degrees, for example. Um, all the uh, descriptions in the dropdown list there are, as I previously mentioned, linking up to the, the two letter codes within the uh, database. So it's, it's seamless integration in your database and uh, as I've already mentioned, uh, a way of uh, validating your, your entries so no more fat finger mistakes. And you can put as, you can make it as uh, complex as you want. It's only storing in an in a attribute table, so it's, it's really taking up minimal data on that. Um, but it is quite powerful. <clears throat> Here's a new one. Brand new. This is a, uh, a little GIF from uh, developer's website in their uh, um, planning phase here, but you can use a stylus to map out things that you can see. For example, if you had a base map of an aerial image, you can physically map out with your stylus on your tablet, making polygons. It's got uh, topology support. To, you know, it's, it's going to be clipping these things adequately. And, and uh, a good thing about QField is you can set your snapping um, in your GIS before it comes into the QField, and you can really make some high quality maps here. Um, you just got to set up the GIS appropriately first. What do we got here? Got another little map here. Digitizing. This is how it used to be without the style of support. It was a little bit cumbersome. You'd have to make a physical click every time you did a, a polygon. But if you set it up uh, appropriately, that would be pretty fine too. It allows for drop down menus and anything that you can get out of a point file or a line or a polygon. This is a, a really handy one for, for us and, and for many applications. The uh, advent of open camera coming into the uh, uh, application area. Um, it's, it's free and open source, so it, 
it marries very well with the uh, ideology as well as the support to, and functionality of QField. Um, you can see on the, the photo there that it takes spatial measurements, it uh, stamps them on your photo uh, with a azimuth as well as a dip if, if you've got the uh, proper sensors in your tablet. So you can, you can put on a company logo there as well as the timestamp, but this is very important for rehab tracking for us to understand which way we took the photo, um, make it easy for the next person to come and take a, a monitoring photograph from the same spot. Boom, you just have a look at the, the previous photo once you're there and you go to the spot, look up, wait until you've got the uh, 304 degrees, click another monitoring photo. It's, it's really easy to use. You don't have to be a computer wizard. It's a good way to track your, your rehab. Yep. What do we got? Reporting. Here's a good one. It's a good way to report your rehab. It's a good way to report uh, your geology or, or your drilling for the day. It's one click. I think I got a video here again. Yeah. So here we are in the geologist view, on the mapping view. If we wanted to go to the rehab view, it, uh, it populates what information predetermined the rehab wants to uh, use. So we zoom to the layer that we want to be reporting on. Click on your print to PDF button, really only one button. You've got two choices of different templates there. We've got a drilling template and a rehab template. So the rehab fieldy is gonna click on that and it spits out a rehab map. So you can see in the legend, it's uh, not rehabbed or rehabbed. Tracks are on there, as well as the attribute table down below. So this is predefined with uh, an expression saying only tabulate holes that were rehabbed in the last 24 hours or seven days or, or whatever you want to put. Uh, and, and if you're good at making expressions, you can make pretty good reporting um, PDFs that are output. So no more battling with, uh, you know, changing photo names or anything like that. Boom, you've got a, a end of day report. Everybody's happy. Do I have another one there? Oh, yeah, we're doing another one. We're doing a drilling report here. Same thing. Zoom to the layer of everything that you've been manipulating for the day. Get into a print PDF. And what this, uh, the math that's going to be output is going to be the, um, whatever is visible in the screen. So that's why zoom to layer is an effective way to um, quickly get that uh, uh, map area that's of interest. Now, what you can also do is provide um, different charts as well, as you can see on uh, uh, the styles there. Uh, I haven't actually been able to get them to be supported in Q field. I think they are, it's just me that's not doing it yet, but uh, they're supported in QGIS uh, and automatically update based off of uh, uh, the expression for the time constraint. Uh, accuracy, it's, it's fantastic. Whatever sensor you want, you can, uh, uh, you can get higher accuracy, but uh, there is still a, the problem of uh, concurrent uh, editing of the same feature. If two people are working offline, edit the same feature, come back, and bring it into the uh, master GIS, it's going to have issues with, you know, whoever updated it last gets, gets the win. Um, there's a few other uh, uh, editing and, and syncing uh, um, marvels. I won't, I don't have time to get into it, but it's, it's pretty quick to sync back into QGIS at the end of it. So in conclusion, I really like it. It makes things easy and simple and prettier maps and you don't have to use two GPSs uh, you know, your tablet and a GPS. It, it takes way less time. You don't have to rename photos. They're spatially accurate. Uh, uh, they're database compatible. So also, you don't need a lot of paper out there. Your, your map is your GIS and, and build it right. Take it out into uh, key field and you're good for the day. Uh, rehab tracking, no more lost pieces of paper and smudges and dirt on there and checking and data entry. Data entry, yeah, that's a big one. Um, yeah, that's it. I, I really like it. A lot of support too. These uh, developers that I've uh, um, started talking with, they're, they're really supportive of me doing a, a case study here today and uh, um, providing a little bit of excitement to the Q uh, cloud that's coming out as well, Q field cloud. Um, so check it out. It's 
it's going to change things, uh, especially once we get to, uh, internet availability uh, in the places where I work, for example. Um, open camera support is a big one too, and, and these developers are big on their emails. They, they get back to you right away, and, and as I say, you can, you can support them. You, you should be. We, we all should be. So let's support our, uh, our guys who are making this possible and uh, uh, continue the uh, free and open source ideology. This is great. It's, uh, it's going far. All we need now is uh, free and open source 3D uh, software. Thanks, guys. Feel free to email me, ekeys at prodigygold.com.au. Um, really enjoy working here in Australia, this Canadian does, and uh, uh, really friendly people here at Prodigy, and, and we're looking forward to continued success. Thanks, everybody.